photographer Brian Brooks here at Hubbard Street Dance Chicago. I'm creating my first commission piece with the company that will premiere in November 2016. Um, very pleased that it's my first piece also as the choreographer in residence with the Harris Theatre. My choreography really begins and relies heavily on movement research. My, my creative process in making a dance is very back and forth with the dancers that I'm working with. Ultimately, I go for something heavily stylized and specific. So we're, we're getting into a form and an aesthetic with each work that has something definitive about it, right? The shape is definitive. And then a few days in, I ask to, for translation. So I open, I, I open it to all the dancers and I let them start um, responding. So they reconstruct the material they've been given. So they can resequence the events, um, find new connections because they're resequenced. That's been a large part of the first uh, two weeks here at Hubbard Street has been really setting something in motion, almost like tipping that first domino and then watching all the progressive dominoes fall in line. I'm very interested in kind of a, the group, the community, the crowd, uh, and how we all affect each other. So there are interesting things happening that I'm questioning right away is ultimately when you watch the dance, I hope the crowd is not uh, a busy intersection that has no central focus, but it's actually like a flock of birds or something. There's a, a transformation and an evolution in the piece um, that I'm imagining and that I'm seeing in the studio. So again, a larger kind of reading of the cause and effect. One thing leads to another. So we're, we're moving forward. You know, one thing's affecting another and it's changing and altering it and we end up somewhere where we didn't begin. So just the simple idea of the progressive arc um, and with the changing season as we move from summer into fall, I think that of course will be um, just kind of personally influencing my decisions. That's actually where the dance for me really lives. It's in that um, open-ended question and the infinite possibilities in which it can go. And then in exploring many of those possibilities, of course, we land on handfuls and handfuls of, of possibilities and of answers that, that are beautiful, that are touching, that are moving, that are scary, that are abrupt, that are engaging.